Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of TechNeed. Today we're going to continue with our course and we're going to be looking at the step-by-step -step guide of how to install the Ansible software on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 system. In our previous lesson, we looked at the introduction to Ansible. We looked at what Ansible is. We looked at how Ansible works. We also looked at the um, basic Ansible architecture where we talked about some features of Ansible, like the Ansible inventories, the Ansible plugin, and the likes. We also talked about the Ansible control node. And we said that the Ansible control node or the controller is where the Ansible software is going to be installed. So in this lesson, we're going to install the Ansible software on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 system, which will then become the Ansible control node. To install the Ansible software on a Red Hat system, the Ansible repository has to be enabled. So we have the Ansible repository for the uh, major version of the Ansible software. We also have the Ansible repository for the minor version of the Ansible software. So let's uh, use the subscription manager command to see the repositories that we have. So I can do subscription manager um, repos list. I'm going to grip for Ansible version two, and I'm going to put star here. All right, so it's um, taking time, so I guess my network is slow. I'm just going to pause this video, and when this output is displayed, I'm going to continue the video. Okay, now you can see the different um, repositories that we have. You can see here we have Ansible 2 for rel 8 rpms So this is the major repository, the repository that would install the major version of the Ansible. All right. And we have the minor versions like 2.8, 2.9. All right. We have um, the one for 2.9. But in this um, lesson, we're going to be installing um, the Ansible version of 2.8. So we're going to be enabling um 2.8 the 2.8 version which is going to be this all right if you enable the major version and you install ansible ansible is going to be installed to the latest ansible version which is um 2.9 all right but if you um enable the version the the repository of the version you want to install that Ansible version is going to be installed for you. Okay, so since we want to install the um, Ansible version of 2.8, I can easily do subscription manager, repos, enable. So I'm just going to copy this 2.8 here, um, 2.8 here. going to paste this here now you can see that the repository has been enabled okay so the next step is to install ansible so i can use dnf install ansible i can either use dnf or yum install whichever one so i can say yes i don't want you to prompt me all of those questions so i'm going to post this video um when the Ansible software is done installing, um, I'm going to continue the video. All right, it's almost done. So we can just wait a little. Okay, the software has been installed. And to get the version of the um, Ansible, we can just use the command Ansible dash dash version. Okay, um, you can see now that the um, Ansible version we installed is 2.8.18. And to also get the um, Python version running, 
if you look at this place you can see that the python version is 3.68 and you can also see that um the executable location is u usr slash bin slash ansible so this is how you're going to install ansible on a red hat 8 system i will also employ you to check the um, documentation for the class activity all right so um it's good you go through the class activity and there are also some things i might have not said in the video that would also be in this documentation so i'll be dropping the link to this website in the description section below and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel um, like our videos and share our videos that is one of the ways you can support us so thank you for watching and bye for now.